We're only one week into June, but already we've been blasted by so many virtue signals from every single professional sports league and team over Pride Month. We stand with the LGBTQ plus community. Look at us. We're going to wear a sticker for you guys. It's going to be rainbow colored because that means we care about you. But now we're seeing a couple people who are actually showing bravery by speaking out. And those are Tampa Bay Rays players. Some Rays players chose not to wear LGBTQ. LGBTQ Pride Night patches citing religious faith. Regardless of how you feel about Pride Month or regardless of how you feel about these players not doing that, you have to know that they're going to face an avalanche of criticism from the mainstream media simply for saying, hey, we're Christian. We don't necessarily believe in that lifestyle, but we love everybody. That's what they said, but that's not how the media is going to spin it. Clay Travis kind of echoes those thoughts. Five Tampa Bay Rays players refuse to wear pride flags on their uniforms, citing their religious beliefs. Regardless of your beliefs, refusing to wear these uniforms and being willing to take the inevitable sports media crushing they will get is far braver than meekly acquiescing. And I want to go through this. This is from Gary Sheffield Jr. over on OutKick. Five Tampa Bay players have refused to wear the gay pride logo on their uniforms, citing religious beliefs. Jason Adam, Jalen Beeks, Brooks Raley, Jeffrey Springs, and Ryan Thompson. Of course, all saying they accept everyone, despite their choice to pass on the gesture. The team wore rainbow-colored sleeve patches this past Saturday, where these five opted for their standard uniforms. Jason Adams was asked to comment. So it's a hard decision because ultimately, we all said what we want is them to know they're welcome and loved. But when we put that on our bodies, I think a lot of guys decided that's just a lifestyle that maybe, not that they look down on or think differently, it's just maybe we don't want to encourage it if we believe in Jesus who encouraged us to live a lifestyle that would abstain from that behavior. Just like Jesus encourages me as a heterosexual male to abstain from sex outside of the confines of marriage, it's no different. Pretty well stated. And again, these guys had to know that by doing this, they would face a mountain of criticism from the woke lunatics, from the establishment sports media, from blue check marks, from people with pronouns in their bios that want them canceled, that want them fired, all because they don't want to wear a rainbow colored emblem on their uniform. That means they essentially, you know, endorse all of the things that happen within that community. Hard to argue against players wanting freedom to express themselves based on their religious background. MLB and most other networks have done everything they can to make people appear anti-gay for failing to celebrate gay pride, but these five are doing well standing up for themselves. And uh, there's a little picture. You can see the emblem right there if you didn't know what it looked like before. Uh, this is this is how they're standing with the LGBTQ, LGBTQ plus community. But five race players not partaking in these woke virtue signals. There's absolutely nothing wrong or hateful about them not wanting to put that on their uniform, about not wanting to personally endorse that, especially if their religious beliefs tell them otherwise. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I think this is just the beginning of this conversation. This might inspire more people to do the same. We saw how the media attacked people like Jonathan Isaacs when he didn't want to kneel for the national anthem. So we're going to see this same thing with these raised players. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.